Josh Kerr takes on Kelly Slater once again. These two have met before in the past in the final series of Pipe. One he maybe Kelly doesn't want to remember when he was fighting for a 12th world title in the year 2012. That's what he wanted to accomplish. Josh Kerr played spoiler and knocked him out in the semifinals. Josh Kerr and Kelly having a little bit of a paddle battle here, a little bit of a hassle time, and we see Kelly going pipe. He's going to control the start. Slater pulls in. He's going to come out perfectly to a big eruption from the crowd on the beach. Well, it's always good to, to draw first blood, put the pressure on your opponent, but, uh, I, you know, to be honest with you, pipe, that wave at pipe is beautiful, but back door went inside out. It was an incredible wave at back door. As we continue with this one, Kelly already with a 4-3-3, now looking back door. Sets up the first section. It's got the speed to fly out of the barrel. Almost looked like he was off balance, but floats it into a wrap. Looking to lay back and recover. He won't get credit for that final maneuver, but a solid barrel to shoot out of to back up his 4-3-3. He's, he's balanced through turns. He gets his body in really strange uh, positions. Let's have a look right here. Pulls in nice and tight, drives through that bonus section. And then right here, almost looks like he was going to kick out and then turn it into a floater. And then a beautiful wrapping turn. So good combination of turns there, just maximizing the scoring potential. Beautiful tight little barrel there. Turns a, an average wave into a good score. That's Kelly's forte. That's what he's been so good at over the years. Let's have a look as he draws off the bottom. Nice and tight inside the barrel right there. Clean and then slows himself down just to keep in there for a bit longer. Look at that, it's almost like a soul arch. Bottom turn into floater. Amazing ability to uh, regain his composure and balance through strange situations there. And Kelly Slater finishes off a fairly good score. Meanwhile, Kelly's on the move. Under Kersey's priority. We'll see if he can create a score. Pulls in quickly under the hood. It's staying wide open. Kelly comes out. Wraps it off the top. He's going to kick out quickly. So already his third wave of the heat. Now Josh will take a look and decides to hold back once again. Took a few years off. 99, 2000, and 2001. And came back fired up to stay. Josh Kerr now up. Finally starting off this heat. And it's a wide open Ooh. pit for a moment. The rest of the section lands right down on the Australian. Let's have a look as he drives through. He slows himself down. Now he starts to hit the gas and tries to come out and just gets clipped by the lip. And throw a couple of wins in there. He's uh, looking at number 12. Unbelievable performance from an athlete, now 44 years of age, committing to next season, meaning he'll be 45, competing for a title next season. Kersey up, looking to make up for that last one. Oh. Similar closeout section. This time, Josh makes it. Let's have a look at that one again. Takes off, drives up under the section and then just sneaks out, finds an exit. So Josh Kerr on the board, needing an 8.66. Might not be an 8.66, Joe, but it is a step in the right direction. He's going to chip away at that lead. Uh, what about Max Medeiros? Max was definitely one of my favorites, just like this guy right here, Ooh. Kelly Slater, as he slips in and out of ways out here. But Max Medeiros used to ride like a 5'8 on 10-foot days, crazy, pushing the limits, even before Kelly. Fun looking back with Strider Wazalewski as we see Kelly make the first. It was all about Kelly Slater starting early. Looked like Kersey wanted this one. Kelly, they were sitting deep, so he's forced to go left of Pipeline, turn in a 4-3-3, which he's still counting right now. Yeah, exactly right. And then uh, just went roaming around the lineup, and Kelly, as he does, finds those little gems, finds those little nuggets on the inside, and uh, through some crazy turns at this, this wave right here, Kelly Slater backed that up with a 5.83. Josh Kerr kind of got himself back in the battle, snuck this wave underneath priority, managed to, to uh, produce an exit. Now with 90 seconds to go, Kersey doesn't have priority, so Kelly will take this wave. Nice tight positioning, beating the first section. He's going to come out. Quick little whip out front, Kelly out of there. Minute 15 to go. Well, with right. the waves that Kelly's been dealt with, he's been surfing amazingly today. That, that he has, Joe, but I tell you what, there is a big set coming through out the back. One minute and 10 seconds to go. Yeah, that's that's uh, set to really eventuate, but have a look at this, Josh Kerr. Kicking and scratching, this is the last roll of the dice, Joe. Now it scores in, Kersey needs a 6.23 on this wave. Sets his line, one pump, he stalls, the wave spits. 
And he redirects for the completion. So Josh getting a final effort in right before the buzzer. Didn't get really that deep on that last opportunity, but he still had a chance to take a look at a wave before this heat well, comes was, to a close. Sorry, Joe. It was the biggest wave of the, of, the, uh, of the heat, really. There wasn't a lot on offer through that entire heat. Kelly with a 5.67 on his last wave. Have a look. Drives through the section, and as you said, it wasn't really a long barrel. A little bit more intense, maybe. A little bit bigger. This is Kelly's last wave. You can see Kelly sort of more crouched. A little bit more technical. Had to fight his way through through the exit. He's already in a 497 for Josh Kerr. Not wow. enough. Kelly gets payback from 2012 in the semifinal against Josh Kerr, and he moves on into semifinal action here at the Billabong Pipe Masters.